Hello everyone, Crydax here. Today is going to be a short one, but I wanted to show you something that was a little finicky to figure out and I think is extremely helpful for dealing with a certain segmented enemy on a certain hot planet, and that is being able to blueprint ammo into your turrets such that when you turn on your robots, they will automatically fill the turrets with ammo. I didn't have enough in my inventory, but you get the idea. So how do we actually make this happen? Because you may have noticed if you just copy a turret with ammo in it, it does not bring the ammo along with it. So what you need to do is you actually need to copy a ghost turret with ghost ammo. <laughs> because even if we were to uh, ghost ammo into this, and to do that you pipette it with the pipette tool, rather than clicking on the ammo and actually picking some up from your inventory, you can also do this in remote mode, of course, remote view. But you can take your, you know, whatever rounds you want to use, piercing rounds or whatever, put them in there as a ghost, and even that will not copy, regardless of how you copy it, whether you do the real blueprint, the shift copy, or the regular copy, you'll notice it doesn't come with ammo. So what you have to do is you have to have a ghost turret, and then you have to put ghost ammo into that. Obviously you can't put real ammo into a turret anyway. That just doesn't work. So you have to get your pipetted ammo, you put that, and you can do it in single clicks, by the way. If you have your ghost ammo, you can right click and put it in one at a time if you don't want to put 100 into each turret. I found this very handy to take out said uh, wormy enemies on Vulcanus. Um, so a bunch of turrets with, you know, just a little bit of ammo is enough. And then you can copy that and that will copy into a turret with ammo already placed in it for you so you don't have to manually place hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rounds. So I hope this was helpful. Nice short video for you today. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.